Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja and this video is an extension to an existing chapter which describes how to create and use vector fields. This time we're gonna have a look how to use an external tool, a third-party plugin to speed up this process a little bit uh, the process of um, easily creating vector fields as a U asset, as an Unreal asset. So please, go to the Ninja Tools level, start Fluid Ninja, and in the intro go to page 6. There is a flowchart here, and you could find the same flowchart uh, in the online documentation that could be found on the marketplace. So please have a look at these two methods, method A and method B. In the previous chapter we have been discussing method A, which is um, an inclusive method for Fluid Ninja, doesn't need any plugin or third-party tool. And this time we're gonna talk about method B, which is a bit faster because it is two steps shorter, as you could see on the flowchart. And the process is the following. At the marketplace, you might want to buy the Easy File System plugin or any other plugin that is able to export an Unreal string to a text file. Once you get such a plugin, you enable the plugin in the editor options, and once you have this plugin enabled, uh, you set up Ninja to use this plugin, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So, I'm getting to the content browser. Uh, I'm clicking on the Fluid Ninja root folder, and I'm picking this particular blueprint called Define Third Party Plugin. I double click on it. As you could see, there is already a template where to place your plugin. I'm zooming on on the red block here. Output place the plugin node here. And I'm just right clicking in the node space and I'm starting to type in the name of the plugin Easy File System. And here is the option Save String to File. So we have a blueprint node placed here which is going to save our string variable to an external file. And so I'm connecting the execution flow and the two data flow path. And it's done. I'm saying compile, save. I close this blueprint. Okay, so we have been editing this BP define third party plugin blueprint. And once it's done and I have basically connected the plugin to this data and execution flow, I'm starting Ninja, going to the configuration module, and you could see in the second column on the bottom there is this use plugin for FGA export option. I just tick on it, I enable this. Don't forget to save the Ninja config. And it's done. So what is going to happen now? Uh, like you have seen in the previous chapter, you could uh, export FGA from Fluid Ninja or from Ninja Fields. But in both cases, you go to this Export FGA menu and just press the Record button. And as you could see in this progress bar, it says FGA file exported to an external directory. So. Uh, I'm just um, quitting Ninja, back to the content browser, uh, picking an arbitrary directory like this uh, output folder. I'm tabbing to the total commander or any other file manager and going to that folder in the Windows or iOS or Linux where the file have been exported. By default it is in the Ninja output folder and I am just drag and dropping back the file to Unreal. And as you could see, Unreal instantly recognizes it as a vector field data file. 
So the difference compared to this uh, uh, method A shown in the previous chapter is that we have uh, a shorter pipeline and it's very easy to create FGA files instantly and, drag, and then drag them back to Unreal. While with method A you had to edit the file header manually and then do the same thing. Shortly that's what I wanted to show you and in case if you would like to create a lot of FGA files you might want to consider by uh, buying this third-party plugin or having uh, to find a free plugin that does the same thing exporting a text file and then it's much faster shortly that's it and thank you for your patience and bye bye